Amada says cotangent of theta equals 1. Now remember, when we're talking about cotangent of theta, remember cotangent represents the x over the y. So I need to look at my unit circle and determine, well, when do I have the same values over each other that are going to give me 1? Now, Grace, when, or if you remember the unit circle, there was only one point that had the exact same values. And by going into the unit circle, that was that angle pi over 4, which is the same thing as 45 degrees. And that point was square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. Right? By remembering the first quadrant of the unit circle, we know that these two points are exactly the same. So if I do x over y, right? if I did square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2, that's going to equal 1. Yes? But is that the only time when um, I have my x over y equals 1? Well, no, that's not. Because here, I have negative square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. That's at 3 pi over 4. Here, at 5 pi over 4, I have um, negative square root of 2 over 2 comma negative square root of 2 over 2. And here, at 7 pi over 4, I have square root of 2 over 2 comma negative square root of 2 over 2. Now, what you guys notice is here, if I did my cotangent of theta, that would equal negative 1, right? Here, cotangent theta would equal negative 1, right? Because if, if I did my x over my y, one of them's negative, right? And the other's positive. However, here, I have two negatives. So here, my cotangent of theta is still equal to 1, right? For this angle, 5 pi over 4. Yes? Because do you guys see that, how it's y over x is negative over a negative? Kobe, do you see that? It's really important for you guys to understand that. But the main important thing about this problem, ladies and gentlemen, is it said you have two points where cotangent is equal to 1. You have cotangent is equal to 1 here at pi over 4 and 45 degrees, or at 5 pi over 4, right? Or 225 degrees. But the, remember, the, there's a constraint. They say, I only want you to find when the cotangent of theta is equal to 1 when it's between 0 and pi halves. So between 0 and pi halves, remember, was only in the first quadrant. So therefore, my only point is going to be, or my only angle, is pi over 4 or 45 degrees. So when you're doing these problems, you're only looking at the points that are in the first quadrant. But I want you to understand there is another point, because that's what we're going to talk about today, is what happens when my constraint is not in the first quadrant.